Blue collar guys, skilled laborers, what's going on? I know some of you have been on your job or at your skill for over a decade now. And one thing that comes with that is learning how to get better at your trade. If you are a brick mason, over the time you figured out ways to do your job faster, more efficiently, and of a higher quality as to where it was when you first started. You have guys that are plumbers, HVACs, um, of course your truck drivers. And you know, my passion towards the blue collar guys is because I am a blue collar guy. But over the time that I've been driving, Actually, this month, well, last month was actually uh, 15 years I've been driving a truck. You know, not the same company, but over time, it's been 15 years. Sometimes I wonder, should I keep driving or switch to white collar? I know blue collar is needed, and me as a man, I respect it. I respect it more than white collar, just a personal opinion. Some of us don't mind getting their hands dirty. My hands are dirty. They got calluses on them. I love it. To me, in my opinion, that's, that's manly. Not saying that if you're not blue collar, you're less manly. It's just I like working with my hands. And a lot of guys would rather work with their hands than to do anything else for money. Sometimes it's grueling work. You know you're tired at the end of the day. But you feel like it's worth it, you know. Sometimes I hate working long days. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I hate not having extra time. And then sometimes I like to bury myself in work. It's just how I feel sometimes. I like knowing that my time is spent trying to build something and, and increase my value out here. Because right now... Anyone with a skill set that's been in the, the game, no matter what skill that you have or trade that you have, if you've been in it for at least a decade, it's valuable. Like right now, I don't want to go over the road like that, but I have gotten an offer of close to two grand a week to be on the road. That's almost an offer I don't want to turn down. They look at your driving record. They look at how long you stay with a the company. They look at your work performance. All that's in there because they make phone calls to these other companies that you've been with. So that offer is still on the table. Like I said, it's hard to refuse. Sometimes I miss the road. Sometimes I don't. You know, I'm not sure how things are on the road now, I figure, well, I'm driving all day anyway, even though it's local, should I go back on the road? Of course, the DOT laws have changed because the last time I was out there steady on the road was 2006 or 2007. So I know a lot has changed in that time frame. But back to the topic, the skill set. That's what got me that offer and that mileage pay. I think he said it was uh, 65 cents a mile. That's as a company driver. So I'm guessing if, if I was to buy a truck through them, it would be a dollar a mile at least. 600 miles a day. You guaranteed, he said he guaranteed 2,700 miles a week. So you, you know where this is going already. But had I not been in the game for that amount of time, I might would have got a lower offer. Sometimes it depends on the company too. Sometimes companies don't mind paying that money. And then there's companies out there that will pay you the money because they know you've earned value in your skill set. Over the time, I've learned how to I ain't going to say drive a truck with my eyes closed, but I know how to 
back of truck and trailer. I know how to blindside back. I know how to float gears. That's something I learned having my own truck is how to float gears. That's to you guys that don't know, floating gears is when you go through your gearbox without having to touch your clutch. You're giving it gas, and instead of pressing your clutch in to go to the next gear, you just let off the gas a little bit. The, the shifter will come out of gear, and you just throw it in the next gear. So you letting off the gas a little bit allow you to shift to the next gear without you having you to press the clutch. I learned how to do that, and it's uh, I'm not sure if I could do that with all transmissions, but I'm typically the Eaton Fuller type guy, you know, the Super 10 transmission. I could do it on that like it's cake. But that comes with practice. That comes with knowing what you're doing. Now I drive an automatic. You know, even though I can master the gearbox on a 10 speed, an automatic, I can appreciate it now because it saves my knee from hurting. I don't have to worry about pressing the clutch. Um, I don't have to float gears. Because even though you float gears, when you come to that stoplight, you do have to hold that clutch down. And sometimes, depending on how tight that clutch is, it's a lot of resistance pressing back on your foot and onto your knee. So, back in the day, when I used to see people come in with an automatic truck, I used to would laugh. And I'm like, this is not a real truck. You ain't no trucker. You got an automatic. See, this was like 2007, 2008. Once I came off the road, people was getting automatic trucks. But the thing is, once you cut them off, sometimes they will barely start right away. That was a glitch that was going on with the automatics when they start switching over to automatics. So that's why I was always felt the way I felt. See, you can feel how you feel about something, about the skill set, until you get time in and you can appreciate the other stuff. Now I appreciate the automatic trucks. That's less work on my body. It goes from gear to gear without you just having to, without having you to do anything. You just press the gas. And I, I can appreciate it now. So I don't have to do all these tricks to save my knee. Floating gears and all this crazy stuff. So, you blue collar guys, you've learned the tricks of the trade. You learned how to do things more efficiently. And if that case I gave you about the transmission being automatic now in the truck I drive, you can appreciate any new things that hit your industry that make your job easier. And at first, you might be stuck in your ways like I was. At first, you may think, hey, what's this new thing we got going on? Why they're changing this and changing that? Sometimes it makes your job more efficient. That's what's the case when they start making automatics. But yeah, you build your skill set, you come and fish at your job, especially if you've been in a job for some years. Companies look at that stuff. They look at that because they want to see how dependable you are. That works with the trucking industry real well. A lot of people, a lot of companies do not want someone that jump job to job. I try not to be that type of person, but at the same time, I'm the type of person that's going to go after that bread too. I'm not going to hesitate on that. To each his own. So, in that situation I told y'all about early in this video about the, the offer I got, it's still on the table. You build value, you can earn a good living you will get an offer every once in a while like that or if you guys have your skill set down to the T another thing you can learn over the years is how to start your own business in that field that you win because people talk 
You might see a guy that owns his own plumbing company and you're a plumber. You build your craft. You work for these plumbing companies and you ask questions. You find out different things. You always learn stuff on your job. I always find something. I always learn something different that you can add. You can add that on your resume. You can find a person to own that company. And you can work alongside them because you can move positions. And then eventually, you'll rub elbows with people that know how to start their own business in that field. If that's the route you want to go. So, home in on your craft. Build your skill set. You brick masons, you plumbers, HVAC guys, truck drivers, um, electricians out here um, working on the power lines. You too. You guys out here that hang up uh, solar panels, roofing, people that build houses. We wouldn't have nothing without you guys. It's like each time I flip my light switch. I should be saying thank you to one of you guys. Each time I run the sink or flush the toilet, I should be saying thank you to one of you guys because I wouldn't have any of those things without y'all. So, I'll bring y'all water. Whatever product I carry on my truck, I deliver it to somebody. It's got to get from point A to point B. You mechanics, I ain't forgot you either. You need your car fixed. You got to take it to somebody. You ain't going to fix it yourself unless you good like that with your hands. You got to, you could have to come across a blue, blue collar person some way, somehow. You need your car fixed. You need your oil changed. Even with that, I ask questions. If I'm getting an oil change, I'm asking questions. I'm looking up stuff online in case one day I want to try to try something and do it on my own to save money. That's the main reason why people do their own stuff to save money. But you still have to put the effort in. So, guys, let me know what y'all think. I'm almost home now. It's been a it's been a day. It's been a day. Uh, been working sun up to sun down most of the time. Like I said, I, I love it. I used to, sometimes, like I said, I go back and forth between wanting a short day, wanting to go in later in the morning. I like getting up early. I go ahead and get a jump on a day and get it started, you know. Sun up to sun down. Some people work longer than that. Some people work 14, 16 hour days. Because when it comes to them um, coming to them bills, you got to do what it takes. And let me say something to you, uh, you blue collar guys. Don't feel bad for being blue collar. School is not for everybody. Unless you're learning how to build your trade and stuff. Some of us are hands on learners. I try the traditional reading and all that. I can do it, but a lot of us rather not. If I can make decent money on met, you know, and increase through start my own firm in that or business in that, that's the route I'd rather go. I'd rather have my own anyway. But let me know what y'all think. Um, appreciate you blue collar guys out there. Continue to, to grow your skill set. Continue to increase your value in your field. And continue to and continue to be good at what you do, continue to appreciate what you do, and continue to think about how many people you are helping just by you coming to work, clocking in. Alright guys, I'm out.